hello, hello. It's been some time. Um, today is December 7th, 2018. And approximately 16 months ago today, I underwent vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery in LaGrange, Georgia at Wellstar Medical Center underneath the care of Dr. Wesley Turton. He was my surgeon. My overall heaviest weight was 400 pounds. I embarked on a weight loss journey back in 2009. Um, from 2009 up until the day of surgery, I managed to lose 125 pounds on my own. I hit a three-year wall, and that's when I decided to go ahead and pursue weight loss surgery. <coughs> like I said, August 7th was the day I had my surgery. I weighed in at 275 pounds. My current weight as of today, 16 months post-op, is 186.8 pounds. Now, that is... <clears throat> An increase in weight. My lowest ever recorded weight to date was a fluke at 177 pounds. My weight loss range for me personally is between 180 and 185 pounds. So technically I'm only 1.8 pounds over. But I wanted to update you guys on what's going on. So as far as my diet goes, I am trying to get back into maintaining a regular scheduled low carb diet. It's what works for me, it's what's been working for me before surgery and after surgery. Low carb is the way to go for me. I'm in the process of walking right now. Um, to get some fresh air, to get some exercise, which pertains to my next topic, activity. I did go through everything that I've went through to have this weight loss surgery to be a failure. I didn't go through the pre-op process, pre-op diet, post-op diet, lose over 200 and something pounds, just to have my tool fail me. And that's one of the things that I think a lot of people, you know, struggle with as far as, you know, the regain years out. Mind you, again, I'm only 16 months post-op. But for me, I figured out balance. Now, what I mean by balance. Um, sorry, just want to make sure my phone's still charging using my portable charger what I mean by balance yeah I eat low carb yeah I'm in the process of 12 weeks from now I'll be participating in my first half marathon so what does that mean I have to eat to fuel my body for my workouts I have to eat to maintain my overall health and my body not to say that I'm going to be on a strict diet for the rest of my life, because I'm not. I want to treat myself. I'll treat myself. I want to go out and eat whatever the hell I want. That's not my plan. As long as what I decide to eat does not affect me later, like, will I feel guilty, work, guilty afterwards? I don't want to eat something and feel guilty. That's just going to put me back in the same mindset that I was before I had surgery. That's how in the hell I got to 400 pounds in the beginning. I can't do that. So, it's finding balance. No, there is not one workout that's going to correct any bad eating habits. So get that shit off your mind first and foremost. My balance is maintaining my calories, maintaining my macros, eating within my meal plan 
for me and working out accordingly to make sure everything has its balance. With that being said, yes, I'm running, jogging, three to five days a week per my training plan. Yes, my caloric intake is between 12 and 1500 calories per day per my activities. I try to keep my carbs under 50 to remain in the low carb category. It's what works for me. Might not work for you. It what work for me. I take full advantage of my tool. Um, I resort to other means as far as my eating habits, suffering from anxiety and depression. When my emotions got out of whack, I hit the buffet. I don't do that anymore. I'd rather go for a walk. Hence, why my ass is outside right So, that's the second topic as far as balance. Non-scale victories. <coughs> um, I might have mentioned this before, but for my birthday, I participated in my second ever 5K race. My first one was done a few years ago in Florida. I was 275 pounds. That was a superhero fun run. Um, nothing weight loss surgery related. Since then, having surgery on my birthday, I participated in doing my second 5K run. I did that one at 189 pounds. This was back in October. So I've maintained my weight loss in the 180s since October. Um, I did my 5K then. I did it, my first 5K was in under an hour. So I told myself, hey, if you lost this much more weight, what could you possibly accomplish in this 5K? Finished the 5K. Um, for whatever reason, when we started the course and compared to when we ended it and I went from point to point, it ended up just under 3.1 miles and I finished it in between 43 and 45 minutes. And how I made it up to that point was I was doing the C to 5K training program. Also on my birthday, um, that weekend really, I decided to go ahead to Mantineau Springs, Colorado not too far from me and climb the Mantineau incline. We're talking 2,744 steps. Each step is noted, so it's not hard not to count. Um, took me two hours to climb up that and an hour to climb the trail back down. Um, that was a huge NSV for me. It's an incline that's considered difficult on the trails. I have an app for all the trails that are in the area. That one was considered difficult. It was also considered extremely dangerous because people have died attempting that climb. And I was able to do it. I've gone hiking in different places, different trails. Um, I've gone to the Garden of the Gods here. I've gone um, to the Royal gorge i still want to cross that bridge but um i've gone around there hiking the trails around there and things like that as far as another nsv i am comfortable in a size eight now my lowest size i've ever worn in my life was a size 14 16. i'm less than that now I want to maintain the size that I'm in. Now I know eventually when I get when I cross that bridge as far as plastics go, I'll be smaller. But for right now, the size 8 jeans, I'm good. I 
I'm happy. I'm in like a medium small depending on the fit and the style or the cut, but I'm happy. And that's all that really matters. The overall end all be all about this journey or any other journey is your happiness. My surgeon's goal for me was 175 pounds per my height. I never got to it, but for my December challenge, I would like to reach that goal. So as of today, I have 11, 12 pounds to reach my goal, and I would like to hit 175 by January 1st. So how am I going to get there? Since I know my body, I've been able to maintain this weight range in a 180s since October I've claimed maintenance I'm happy um but I do want to reach my surgeon's goal weight for me so since hmm, Wednesday three days well today's the third day I started a egg fast a modified egg fast per what my body needs for my training this Monday started the six weeks, oh not six weeks, the 12 weeks that I have left to train for my half marathon. Um, yesterday I was supposed to have did my run. I didn't. Today is a rest day. I'm doing it today, which I'm walking for that aspect. <coughs> so I have 12 weeks. Actually now it'll be considered... 11 after Sunday So I'm just gonna follow through with that program and get everything taken care of um, As you can see I'm bundled. I got gloves on I'm not used to this type of cold like I was before Being that I'm from New York It's a different type of cold here than it is over there So this type of cold here is dry you don't have any humidity so it gets really really cold and I've been training in this weather um, it's getting difficult because we've only lived here in Colorado since June my body is still getting acclimated to the altitude and from the heat of the summer to the frostbite of the winter well, technically not winter because we're still in the fall, but we're getting there. Temperatures have gone down to one degrees, sometimes depending on where we are. But today, it's supposed to be a high of 50 and a low between 13 and 15 degrees. So, <laughs> yeah, fun times for me, right? So, if any of you guys have any tips on what to wear in this type of weather to still train because I really 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 don't want to have to go and join a gym just to hit the treadmill to get my training days in only because my course for this half marathon that I'm participating in February 24th 2019 in Pueblo, Colorado is primarily downhill on a trail. Part of the trail runs behind my house, but um, I don't know what the weather's going to be like here in February. If here we are, December, and we've been getting snow since October, off and on. It's not constant like it is up in Colorado Springs. I'm about 30 to 45 minutes from Colorado Springs in a warmer part. But I don't know if you can see it or not, but that mountainous area back there, that's Pikes Peak. And where I live, it's just on the other side of the highway there so and 
now you can see from here the white caps of Pikes Peak. So I'm not that far away from the snow, guys. Literally, 30 to 45 minute drive, and I'll see snow. But, like I said, drop tips, clues on what to wear. So far, the running that I've been doing, I try to do it later in the afternoon to where, like now, as you can see, the sun is up. Usually, I go for my fasted runs before the sun goes up, but because it's like 10 degrees before the sun comes up, I push back my runs to later in the day. Now, it also kind of messes me up because, number one, I'm doing the egg fast this week, which I'll end that on Sunday, but you know the egg fast rules, which I don't follow. Also, <coughs> I intermittent fast, and I like to do my runs or my workouts in a fasted state. So... It's just trying to figure out ways to do things. I'm tracking my steps and everything. Um, my Fitbit. I track my runs on my Strava app. Where I've joined a couple of other people. In the, in the running community. And also jogging and swimming. It's just an all around app to track your fitness. I've signed up through the Strava app. For a 10k race, I signed up during Thanksgiving for a virtual 5k turkey trot through the Strava app. And also, I think I might have signed up for a, a half marathon for this month, all through the Strava app as far as monthly challenges go. So, that's what's been going on. That's where I am. I still do meal prep periodically. Uh, during Thanksgiving, I actually lost weight. I went into Thanksgiving week at 189 pounds. I lost five pounds that week. So pretty much my gain was after Thanksgiving. Only because I finally let everything that was stressing me out to keep me from eating I let everything go and I was able to open up my appetite again along with that um, I do suffer still with acid reflux it's controlled but whenever I get emotionally upset whenever I get stressed out my anxiety flares up and when that flares up, so does my acid reflux. So, that's what's going on with that part. I don't regret this surgery one bit. Um, I appreciate everything that is brought into my life. All of the life experiences that I've had. The things that I can do now since having the surgery. My best friend came down during my birthday. Do you know how it felt? Now, we've been friends since 94. We've done things every, every time we get together since high school. But one thing we've never been able to do is go shopping together. To be able to go shopping with your best friend, pick out the same outfit off the rack put it on without even looking at the size of it and it fits that's a huge NSV we went to Dee Dee's here they reopened it grand opening we went to Dee Dee's and got matching Hello Kitty onesies to do things like that with your best friend or anybody is huge it's a huge accomplishment i can pull things off the rack and it fits i have a friend here who i've been friends with since i moved to colorado she's an old alabama roll tide homie 
we clicked from day one of meeting and she's turned into a best friend for me here she got me this coat that I'm wearing right now as an early Christmas present I cried like a bitch for two reasons number one it's a coat she didn't have to buy it for me second reason she did not know what size I wore she figured I wear her size because she's had she has given me clothes that she was going to give to donate to Goodwill but she figured let me see if Maria wants them first they fit my friend is very petite for her to sit there and say we wear the same size and to grab me this coat and it fits mind you I got layers under this thing and I'm gonna show you because it's not that cold right now but I have hopefully you can see it's kind of dark I have this jacket I have on a hoodie see jacket hoodie I have on this shirt here and I have a t-shirt so I'm layered up underneath this jacket and it fits with all these layers and it's a large a large I'm gonna say it again a large and uh, like I said I cried large anything coming from wearing 5x is an NSV I don't care how the fuck you look at it from 5x to a large from 5x to size 8 and <laughs> yeah it's it's I would never not be grateful for my tool anyway guys I think I ran your ear off long enough it's a hell of a 16 month update just know I am training for my first ever 13.1 half marathon and I am doing this in a low carb setting so I'll eat according to my goals I'll eat according to my training and we'll just see what happens February 24th the race starts at 10 a.m. they give me till 2 to complete the 13.1 miles and right now the way my training is currently my last long run which was last Sunday which was four miles I did that four miles right in an hour so if I can get four miles in an hour and all I need to do is finish 13.1 and they give me four hours to do I think I'm pretty good with timing because my 5k's that I do when I do three miles are usually finished between 40 and 45 minutes so my pace isn't all that great I average between 13 and maybe 16 17 pace per mile and my miles are usually 15 to 17 minutes I can do one mile so I'm not looking for a time I'm just looking to finish next year 2020 if I decide to do the same half marathon then I'll know what I can compare my time to this year for that one alrighty guys like I said I chewed your ear off long enough giving you a 16 month post op update you guys take care hope you guys had a blessed Thanksgiving and hope you will continue to have the same blessings throughout the Christmas holidays I am walking to get some exercise and for a purpose so I will chit chat with you all a little later yeah, yeah.